For sure, Kai Soto is disappointed dahil hindi sila makakapasok sa next round. Maganda sana kung makakapasok ang Adelaide 36ers sa playoffs dahil more exposure ito para kay Kai Soto na maipakita ang kanyang kakaibang galing and in the process, makikilala pa siya sa buong mundo at tataas ng husto ang kanyang NBA value. Pero, kahit na hindi nakapasok ang kanyang team sa playoffs, ay nagbunyi pa rin si Kai Soto mga ka-informatics. Dahil at last, meron na siyang chance na makaalpa sa coaching style ni Coach CJ Button na kakaunti lang ang binigay na role sa kanya. Nabigyan man siya ng starting role, pero isang palaisipan pa rin kung bakit pagdating ng fourth quarter ay palaging hindi na siya pinapasok. Kaya siguradong excited na si Kai Soto sa kanyang future undertakings and surely Kai Soto is all in sa kanyang NBA dream. Ngayon pa lang mga ka-informatics ay meron lang mga NBA teams ang nagpapakita ng interest kay Kai Soto. At kahit na-eliminate na ang kanyang team ay meron pa namang naghihintay na magandang pagkakataon sa kanya ang NBA. Whether or not makakapasok si Kai Soto next season remains to be seen. Pero siguradong makikinabang ng husto ang sinumang team na kukuha sa services ni Kai Soto mga ka-informatics. Pero in this video ay titignan natin ang mga reasons kung bakit makakapasok si Kai Soto sa NBA. First is height. What makes Kai Soto a stand out from the other young players? Kai Sapa is known for his exceptional height, length, and skill at a young age. He is considered as a standout among other young players for several reasons. At 7'3", Sapa is one of the tallest players in his age group, which gives him a significant advantage on the court. His height allows him to grab rebounds and block shots easily and also to have a better view of the court. Kaya sa si NBL ay maraming mga players ang natatakot na nusubin ang depensa ni Kai Soto sa ilalim dahil sa kanyang shot blocking ability mga ka-informatics. Although, Kulang pa ang kanyang aggressiveness na pinakita sa rebounding, yet in the last 10 games ay nagsimula ng tumaas ang rebounding ni Kai Soto. Second, Athleticism Despite his size, Soto is also known for his agility and coordination which is rare for a player his height. This allows him to move quickly and efficiently on the court, which is an important attribute for a big man. His athleticism is off the charts considering it's such a legit 7-3. Run over the cross at the top of the screen. Final seconds of the opening quarter. Stolen away but it lands right in the hands of Soto. Tingnan natin ang kanyang mga makapigil hiningang mga dunks and moves that show his great athleticism. Grabe pa lumundag and he can fly above the rim mga ka-informatics. Third, skill set. Kai Sapa has a versatile skill set and is capable of playing multiple positions on the court. He can play center, power forward, 
and even small forward which makes him a valuable asset for a team. In fact, he can do the vintage hook shot a la Karim Abdul-Jabbar. The very difficult dream shake of Hakim Olajuwon. The mid-range accuracy of Dirk Nowitzki. The three-point shooting of Kristaps Porzingis. And the dunks and alley-oops of Anthony Davis and can facilitate like Nikola Jokic. Meron pang shot blocking like Rudy Gobert and rebounding. Overall, Kai Sato's combination of height, athleticism, skill set, work ethic, and international experience sets him apart from the other young players and makes him a highly touted prospect in the world of basketball. Kaya pinuntahan talaga siya sa Australia ng mga NBA scouts para makita in person ang kanyang development mga ka-informatics. Again, we say it again here dahil ito naman talaga ang paniniwala sa lahat ng mga basketball minds sa buong mundo. It's not a question kung makakalaro ba si Kai Sato sa NBA but it's a question of when, kung kailan ang tamang panahon. Bata pa si Kai Sato mga ka-informatics. He is still 20 years old, kaya napakarami pang panahon na makatunayan ni Kai Soto ang kanyang NBA worth. Meanwhile, Royce O'Neal may also go ahead triple as Nets Nip Warriors. Maingat na naglakad si Royce O'Neal papunta sa podium na may ice bag ang kanyang mga tuhod. Pero, hindi ito nakapagpigil sa kanyang kumpiyansa at ng kanyang team na Brooklyn Nets. Sa pamamagitan ng isang 3-pointer mula kay O'Neal, ay lumamang ang Nets na may 28.5 seconds ang natitira. The Nets capitalized on Golden State's third straight game, squandering a double-digit lead. Kung saan, tinalo ng Nets ang Warriors sa score na 120 to 116 on Sunday night, mga ka-informatics. Kyrie had been getting to the basket, hitting tough shots, and at that moment, he drove, two people double teamed, and he found me open. I just needed to have the confidence to knock it down, sabi ni O'Neal. Nagtapos si Kyrie Irving ng 38 big points, 9 assists, and 7 rebounds para sa Brooklyn Nets mga ka-informatics. Kung saan, nanalo ang Nets ng dalawang sunod-sunod na games na wala si Kevin Durant. At nagdagdag si Nick Claxton ng kanyang career high na 24 points and 15 rebounds na may kasama pang 3 blocks. At umiscore si Seth Curry ng 26 points, 7 assists, and 6 rebounds. At nagdagdag si Jordan Poole ng 17 points para sa Warriors, mga ka-informatics. O'Neal scored 11 of his 16 points with 3 3-pointers in the first quarter. Poole stayed in the starting lineup in Luna's place after scoring 30 or more points in two of the previous three games. At nagdala si Kevin Looney ng 14 points and 10 rebounds. At si Draymond Green ay nakakuha ng 9 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists after Brooklyn whipped the Warriors 143-113 to at home on December 21 but without Curry and Thompson. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe mga ka-informatics.